having come to Christ not too many years before coming to uh, understand the doctrines of salvation and Scripture, um, my, my doctrine of God, the doctrine of God that I've been taught was, was a God that did things a certain way and not another way. And so having to fight against those presuppositions about God that are not biblical uh, suppositions about God, that's, I think, one of the reasons. And, um, and we have to sort of undo a lot of that bad theology before we can really understand the right biblical theology. I think for many Christians, and there are even some that I know uh, who um, really still struggle with the doctrines of grace, and, um, and, and in part because I think they're struggling with them academically and exegetically. They're struggling to understand certain passages and certain verses as I did. That was the big struggle for me. I understood the, the theology of it, I understood the explanation of it, I understood the rationale of it. But as a, a Greek and Hebrew student uh, and a theology student at the time, 25 years ago, um, I was studying certain passages saying, now this passage doesn't seem to line up with this passage. And so it really took a right understanding of hermeneutics, of a right method of interpretation to help me see how all of Scripture fit together and how one passage of Scripture interpreted another passage of Scripture. One that was uh, more clear helped to interpret one that was perhaps less clear to me. I think there are some still that have an understanding of God who is a loving God, and while they would confess that He is sovereign and they would believe that He is sovereign so that they think, um, they struggle to understand how a loving God could condemn or how a loving God could not elect everyone. And so the question that they ask and the question that I ask at that time was, well, why doesn't God just save everyone? Why doesn't God elect everyone? And while that's a fair question, it's really not an appropriately biblical question because if we understand the fall of man, if we understand that we are at enmity with God, that we are in opposition to Him, that we ran from Him, that we hid from Him, that when He came down and took on flesh that we killed Him, it's only when we grasp that that we are all deserving of hell and death that we can really begin to ask the more appropriate biblical question as to why does God save anyone? Why does God elect anybody? And then we begin to really understand the grace of God. And then we begin to say, why me?